So I had this purchase done from Nika and I have a couple of things that I ordered. These are some medicines which I just stored inside. Main thing is this. I ordered two coffee scrubs because I will run out of this. You're supposed to do once a week coffee uh, scrubbing your body so with the exfoliant so this is what actually i received a sample size pack of this when i ordered their tea tree detox range and they gave me a sample size of coffee oil and a coffee scrub so i'll show you that later one and i ordered a scented candle this is something i'm going to prepare for a friend slash colleague uh, send a hamper basket so i'm going to include this in that that's why i ordered this then i ordered the maybelline super stay foundation in the shade classic ivory and because i ordered these two i got a free hand cream and believe me when i tried the travels i thought what is the hype of this when i tried they are sample size right uh it smells genuinely like coffee and it feels like ground coffee so i had to order this two of them yeah both are body scrubs my caffeine body scrub then i ordered this nika skin shield foundation this is in very vanilla shade um i wanted the porcelain one but it was out of so i think this should be my shade once it oxidizes because i purchased this much they gave me beauty blenders from or uh, makeup sponges from the maybelline line and i thought they would be huge but they're like puny ones and they look nice the colors are nice i wish an extra green color was there but okay i'm fine with this that's all what i have in my box i want to speak more about this because this is something i really like and there were stars in that uh, makeup sponge i'm going to save these stars i'm going to collect them and store in this egg leg shape this egg leg shape i could use in a diy easter egg project i don't know I'm, i can wash this clean it really well and i could use this that is an idea i do not really know how what i'm going to do and how i'm going to go about with this but this is nice hi guys welcome to a new video so by the earlier clip you can see what all i brought from nika.com uh, because i usually purchase from there if i run out of sunscreen that is my sh uh, stop to shop if i run out of foundation there is where uh, where i go and i always pick a nail polish like i said in my earlier nail polish video so let's just see i showed you a brief thing i'm going to just tell a slight story behind why i purchased what so first thing i want to speak about is this macaffeine coffee scrub it is m caffeine i know many people are using this and i wanted to know what's the hype behind this coffee scrub it literally smells like coffee it looks like coffee grounds and by the smell of it i thought i could use it to brew some coffee this is what it looks like it has the consistency of ground coffee it has the consistency of slightly sandy and muddy feel when you apply it on your body as soon as i applied i instantly felt like it was healing some uh, part of cellulite i have like in between my thigh and my stomach abdomen abdomen abdom abdomen area i have a slight bit of cellulite stretch marks and whatnot sometimes i do stretch exercises and i get those marks and this has somewhat with one use healed it and the packaging the only thing packaging is a glass thing i am a very clumsy person although it is eco-friendly it's not using any plastic and even they give this wooden scoop to scoop out the product otherwise you will have clumps and clumps of product if you are every time putting your hands in it inside the pot inside the jar sorry inside the jar because uh, it is supposed to be used when you are having your bath so 
before I apply soap, actual soap, I just dampen my body. I take some uh, coffee scrub on my palms, rub it all over my body and believe me this is really good and in fact I was supposed to prepare a gift hamper. I don't know if I'm rambling too fast actually I'm in a hurry and I want to do this video and I was supposed to gift this to one of my friends. She's on other end of the world and I wanted to gift her this with body butter because she has eczema and this can literally remove dead skin cells and with uh, the body butter I think her eczema would subside I don't know this is packed with antioxidants and now I know why it is uh, the hype behind this because of the reviews and ratings on it I went for two packages of this because once a week use I will run out of this and I really like this so it is pocket friendly I would say for the quantity it is pocket friendly and it does the job it does a brilliant job and the ingredients are quite natural then for foundation I was confused between two foundations I got the shade in Cl classic ivory this is the Super Stay Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I know this is everybody's foundation. I only go for drugstore foundations. I'm not like a big posh party to go for high-end foundations or someone, uh, you know, always on camera to have high-end foundations. But these are okay. They are pricey, but they are okay. They work really well. They have full coverage. The other one is the Nika Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Foundation and i wanted the shade porcelain and i thought to myself porcelain would look too white washy on my face but this is very vanilla i was confused between porcelain very vanilla and frisky cream i think so and i went for very vanilla and when it oxidizes right it slightly darkens to the shade my uh, skin uh, tone is slightly on the fairer side and it slightly oxidizes into a darker tone so not too dark but i can see the difference anyway it is not too much difference a part of a shade it's close enough so i'm fine with this i have not tried this this is i'm the kind of person who will finish one tube to start with the other so i might open this if there is a spe special occasion where i want my makeup to be long lasting so this is something i'm going to keep aside next thing i had to pick up a uh, nail paint and i picked this pink nude shade this is what it looks like and every time i shop from nika like i said i have to pick a uh, nail paint so this is what i wanted and it was popping in the ads when i was operating my facebook page it was operate uh, it was just appearing in the ad section so it looked really good so i purchased this next thing because i purchased two packages of this i got mcafeen's coffee hand cream hand cream so that you know you want to keep your hands soft and supple this is something they have given me for free i think the quantity for which they have given me free is really cost effective it's free of course so even because i bought the maybelline foundation right I think I just got the Maybelline foundation. I don't really remember. They gave me this egg. Egg. These beauty blenders. They are like super tiny. I do not know if you wet the beauty blenders. They double or triple up in size. I'm really curious. I am in love with this egg shape. I have never used their beauty blenders. I buy cheap beauty blenders to apply foundation in the package like you have seen i ordered this this is a scented candle it is rose this will be added in one of my colleagues slash friends gift hamper a gift basket because uh, she's about to get married and i thought i could give her a gift as a good gesture for best wishes and a wonderful year ahead so this is something i'll be including i'll be posting a video where i prepare prepare a hamper basket where i include this and some other goodies that is a whole another video so i can't be showing you in this video what all i'll be putting because if i do it now Lee, you wouldn't already know what will be in the basket 
that's all for my nika shopping haul i didn't buy much usually i go for sunscreens i already have one sunscreen in stock and my all time favorite sunscreen is neutrogena as you people know uh one thing i'd like to include today i washed my hair and i'm not following the curly hair method the cg friendly method i have started using silicones i have realized with the hot weather right the other products don't hold my curls as much and i have dry ends if i use other products so i have included silicones in my hair routine don't, don't kill me but uh, the products that i'm using i'll just be back and i'll show you what all i'm using i know i'm rambling a lot in this video i'm talking like super fast because i want to record really fast and start editing this video uh, and uh, i have to really go for work so i'm trying to be as prompt and as effective in speaking and as informative in speaking about the products that i'm using so that i you get the message and i don't you know run out of time so okay the like you people know i wash my hair with herbal essences moroccan argan oil shampoo and conditioner those are my favorites at the moment i don't experience as much hair fall and they also contain slight bit of sulfate and silicones and i don't know my hair usually has product build up and flakiness so slight bit of sulfate i don't don't think it should do much harm and i don't wash my hair as frequently it's just once or twice a week whenever i feel like my hair needs a wash i do it sometimes uh, it's uh, that i'm lazy but whenever i feel like my scalp is itchy and need, it needs a wash i give it a thorough wash rinse whatever you want to call it currently i'm using this curl styling cream it's from schwarzkopf oasis it is expensive but it is like 700 bucks i just need a p amount size of this product and i think this should run for 3 or 4 months p amount size for my hair lens this is more than enough on damp hair it locks the moisture it has silicones in it and there was a price tag on the ingredient list i ripped off the price tag to just see the ingredients there is a bit of silicones there are some chemicals and to you know seal everything i use the serum this is by l'oreal extenso techni art serum this is this is again a silicone based serum i want to lock everything and want my hair to be in place that's why i'm using these products otherwise like i said i have split ends and i have uh, like dry ends and they knot up and i don't like that Uh, feeling because every time when i detangle it is a hassle so this these two products have made my life slightly easy and in between washes when i want to refresh my curls i don't reuse these products again it's only on the day i wash my hair i use these products otherwise i'm using the himalaya protein hair cream just to refresh my curls that doesn't have silicone i believe those are natural ingredients I just spray mist my hair, dampen my hair and I apply the Himalaya protein hair cream or even the anti dandruff hair cream whatever hair cream is at home from Himalayas that is what I use on my head on my hair you can rub a little on your scalp also but I don't want my hair to look oily uh that I even use as a hair mask but these are the two products when I wash my hair This is to style my hair. This is to lock everything to keep everything in place. So that is all about my haul. This is not from Nika. I didn't purchase this from Nika. I think I purchased this from a drugstore. So these are the things I wanted to share in this video. So that's all. You know, try and watch if you like my videos. If you like how I ramble or talk, you can check my other videos. All in all that's all for this video until then bye